First on Fox, the body of fallen Marine Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz returns home. The 20 year old Marine was killed by a terrorist bomb during the final hours of America's evacuation from Afghanistan. We have team coverage of the homecoming, including Mike Colombo, who was at St. Louis Lambert Airport for the arrival. But we begin tonight with Fox News' Andy Banker, who was along that processional route. Andy. Jasmine, this is like something I've never seen. Thousands of people line that route with the Marines' body from Lambert Airport to the private visitation here at Bowie Funeral Home in St. Charles. I stood on top of the first Capitol Drive overpass. A woman next to me said she was so glad she came. And that's the way everyone felt who was part of this. It was a bit overwhelming. But for the Schmitz family, that was kind of the idea. I was out cutting grass and my wife told me that uh, they were doing this and I said, let's get in the truck, let's go. At the first Capitol Drive overpass alone, a couple hundred others dropped what they were doing too. Pam McCarthy is a dear friend of Jared Schmitz's grandmother, DJ. They are co-workers at Phoenix Textiles, which provides linens for U.S. military hospitals at home and abroad. This flag means something. It's out of the ashes. The Phoenix bird arises and um, we're proud of Jared. We're proud of DJ's service to the military and uh, our whole Phoenix team is very proud of, of both of them. It really is echoed here today that all of these people would come out and just show their gratitude for what their son has done. Their son, a Marine Lance Corporal just shy of his 21st birthday, killed in the suicide bombing at the Kabul Afghanistan airport August 26th, giving his life for the evacuation of fellow Americans and Afghan allies. It's a world away from home, where he had graduated from Fort Zumwalt South High School just two years ago, and where people did more today than just talk about supporting our military families. They lined the entire 12-mile route from the airport to the funeral home. The St. Charles County Police stood at attention on the interstate. St. Charles firefighters saluted from above, and a woman from his hometown held this sign. I had it in my yard for a while with 13 flags around it, and then today I took it out to bring it here. And he is in heaven. There's no, there has to be no doubt about that. He's, you know, he's a hero. Yeah, all these people had something else to do today. And then when they thought about what was going on, they decided really they didn't. The views from that overpass, I, I hate to use the word spectacular, Jasmine, but really it seems appropriate, even more so when you take it in from our exclusive aerial coverage aboard Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. If people missed part of this or want to watch part of it again, check it out. We have it for you on our website, fox2now.com. Live in St. Charles, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.